Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to... It's not a very good sign-on, is it? But it does remind me. Hack the moose! You can't hack the moose. Anyway, welcome back. We're gonna go out to the desert. Again. I wonder what'll change out here. I mean, I wonder what'll change out everywhere, but... Having a different operator to talk to is pretty cool. Now we've also got these golden robots that are... an ordeal and can only be hacked. But for a good amount of experience, which is nice. And the enemies are very strong these days. Get them, Tubi! We are also potentially to the point where I could see about uh, starting to do some off-camera grinding, not for experience necessarily, but uh, for items, for upgrading weapons. That might be a thing to start doing. Unless there's like a bunch of new areas and new spoilery stuff that looking that up would reveal. I don't know, I'll ask a friend. <laughs> so I don't have to wait a week and a half for y'all to be able to see this and reply in comments. <laughs> You're from Yorha, right? I've heard about you guys. We've got a squad mate waiting in a rocky stretch up ahead. Head on over. Okay. Just remember that there's nowhere to resupply out there. If you need anything, best to take care of it here while you can. What can I help you with? I should be good, I think. Yeah. I'm really at the point now where I'm wanting a, uh... Chips that, like, increase the power of hacking. I've not noticed any such thing so far, but if that exists, that'd be cool. Uh... Don't know if we have to activate these again. I don't think we do. Because they're all still listed on the map. They're not highlighted in blue, but that's only because we don't have fast travel yet. The Council of Humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Currently, our struggle against the machine life forms is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I'm sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Those council broadcasts are always so stiff. Yeah, I... Still don't buy that there are humans on the moon. That seems like a thing that might not be true. Hey, robots. Don't mind me. Just grabbing items. But then, I guess there are aliens, so... Who knows? Jackass! Hello. Hey. Our leader told me all about you. Name's Jackass. Nice to meet you. I hear you're planning to take out all the machines in the desert? Guess that means we need to get that entrance open. Looks like it. So, um, Jack... Ass, was it? Uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well... Wouldn't want to have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? I'll do my best. Tubi, you don't have to stare her down. <laughs> be nice. Actually, do you say anything more? Don't go trying to be a hero. You do not. All right, to the desert! Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? There's got to be an easier way, right? I get the sense that is just how Jackass does things. Huh. Huh. 
And desert. Let's go pick robot fights. Uh, this sand sure is slippery. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. There they are. Droid. Desert. <laughs> These machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why, though. I wonder, can you hack as a counterattack? Because with 2B, you can you can counter with a light attack, a heavy attack, or a ranged attack. And the heavy attack for 9S is the hacking. So, like... Does that also apply? I guess now's the time to test. Okay, test run. Someone attack me. Bring it. You can. And it kind of like instant hacks. Nice. There we go. And then you get a little explosion that does do some pretty good damage. Do you think they even understand the concept of being scared? Getting levels pretty fast out here, too. That's nice. It's really interesting having hacking being part of your combo. <laughs> Just like light attack, light attack, hack. What's going on? Whoa! Oh, they're... Splody kinds. That's a new sort. What's with the weird-looking outfits? I've seen that sort of thing when I was going through some old data. It looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectives used to use face paint like that, too. Ah, jeez. No. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> That's a fun new hazard. Enriching as well. What other surprises have they got up their sleeve, I wonder? You know, I'm gonna swap. The big sword is fun, but it's also very slow. Uh, so let's try the spear. I wonder how that'll do. And we've actually got a spear that's stronger than this. Uh, you. Yes. There we are. How's this do? That's some pretty good speedy direct attacks. Okay. It's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? <sighs> Our lovable idiots. And here we go. Oh, I thought you were going to run the other way. Oh, you did. Right. I remember. It's heading for that rocky area. Individual target ID marked. Pursue. Once long ago, a volcano erupted. Hmm. From the fires of the eruption. A god emerged. One day, the god appeared before the machines and said, Consciousness. Pain. 
desolation. The future. The meaning of life. Hmm. What's that? Analysis. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. I wonder why they insisted on living in such large groups. Things must have been really dangerous around here, huh? Negative. Living conditions were mandated by economic imbalance and a lack of space. Man, humans sure are weird creatures. Very true, but hold that thought. I'm seeing a tank that does not look like the party flavor. Mail notification received from Hey, I fought this machine before, right? Proposal. Enemy should be dispatched immediately. Now that one's definitely made of gold. If you say so. Alright. The party is over. We hack. Begin hacking! I'm guessing the smaller robot accompanying it is the main danger still, but eh. Get it. Eh. Yes. How does that do? Okay, it's gonna take a few tries. That's fine. Tanks don't have melee attacks. Come on now. Yeah. Can't hide from me. Yeah. There we go. Couple more of those ought to do it. Or this little guy, that's fine too. Gonna have to do that a bunch. Yeah, let's uh take care of the big one first. Oh jeez. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no. No, no. Take care of those turrets. Then take care of this. Eh. Whew. Okay. Not done yet. Come on. Whoa. Okay. Watch out. Target the tank. The tank. Can you not? Is it not allowed? There we go. Okay. Yes. There we go. Finish the tank. Oh, jeez. These are fun little mini-games. And I bet they're gonna get real challenging. <laughs> yes! Tank destroyed! Now for you... Well, actually, let me grab... There. But now get hacked. A bunch. This is not a fast way to defeat these robots, but it seems faster than regular attacks. Which don't seem to... Well, no. Well, is it doing anything? It's rather hard to tell. It is doing damage, technically. It just seems to have a bonkers amount of HP. This seems faster. Considerably. Break. Keep getting hacked. Come on. There we go. One more to do it. And you're done. There we go. Brother? Wait, there's more of these things? I'm guessing there's gonna be a bunch of these scattered around the world that I have to contend with. It seems like you get some good rare parts from them, though. Run. Run. 
target confirmed. Let's get him. As you can probably guess. Oh, oh hello. Love the small talk. That is exactly Nines' speed. But yeah, as you can probably uh, already guess, we're going to be editing a little more heavily with, uh, like, subsequent playthroughs. Or at least editing through all the stuff that you've seen before that is just repeated. I still have to play it, obviously, but there's no reason you should have to sit and watch the exact same thing again. So we'll keep the pace a little more brisk. Anything that's new or interesting, though, we'll definitely show again. There goes the big bot. That went so much smoother this time. <laughs> I'm getting better. Also considerably leveled up, but still. Let's see if anything different happens through here. Because I'm really expecting... What makes them choose these words? I don't know, bud. <laughs> it's anyone's guess. But yeah, it really feels like the whole scene at the end of this path is going to have something new in it. At least a little something, maybe a lot. These are android bodies. Hypothesis. They were killed by local machine life forms. What are they doing here? Oh, no. It's like they were gathered here. Well, let's see. There it goes. They don't give up. Run. Run. Must run. It's the one time a robot runs. Multiple machines detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yep. I remember now. Listen to them to be together forever. Together forever. Carry me. Carry me. They don't have any feelings. They're just imitating human speech. Let's take them out. Feed me. It's really interesting. They're, they're all just imitating something to do with procreation and child rearing as best as they're able to. Which that was the same as before. Ow. Here, I'll do a hack. Quick hack. There we go. Explosion. Yeah, it's not much of one, but explosion. I feel like there's going to be some neat, more combat effective way to use hacking. There's so many. Continue. 
What's happening? A machine. You can actually see his name this time. my idea. To be started it. Sword. Dodge. Projectile. Deflect. I think he's evolving. We better finish this quick. Get him. I hadn't even noticed until this time around that your, like, projectile spread is so much less when you're not locked on. That's interesting. Was that the case with, uh, 2B as well, or is that just with 9S? Is that why I didn't notice before? Mostly the same thus far, with one added little, uh, story time sequence. Oop. Careful. Don't fall or do anything stupid. There we go. Go! Move those little feet. Looks like we're safe now. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. <laughs> Let's move to an area with better reception so we can contact command. Okay. Um, was this blocked last time? I think it must have been. There we go. Hey, robots. Don't mind me. Hey. You heard me. I said, I said, no. There we go. Okay, this is good. We should be able to reach command here. 9S to bunker. Do you copy? I read you, 9S. Go ahead. 
Operator, we, uh, we just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them, but I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Hey, tall bots. I'm probably going to have to attack all of you all four components later, but for the time being, you get to continue to live and be tall. Enjoy your height while you can. I kind of love that there's always a moose just hanging out here. <laughs> uh, ah, and you, hello. I hear you kicked some tin can ass out in the desert. So I guess, you know, thanks or whatever. You're welcome. Uh, are you gonna have a quest for us? Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? Because I know I didn't finish Don't your quest last time. Is it still in my, hmm, I can't remember. Uh, no. No, we're probably gonna have to do... I think we're gonna have to do her quest from the start. Granted, the first three parts of it weren't that bad. It was just that last one. Which now we may be able to do, honestly. Good bit stronger now. And I've got a somewhat more ranged attack as well with the hacking. That might work out pretty well now that I think about it. Whew. I think we've earned a breather. Say to be. I was hoping we could talk about our next move. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance. Let's do. All right, let's go back. You got it. Report. Mail notification received from access point. I should go check on that. It's kind of interesting they give you the choice prompt there, right? I wonder what happens if you choose the other thing. Like, I have no idea. Like, it's not like they, like, choosing let's go back to camp warps you there. I could keep fighting as much as I want before getting there. Huh. And curiously, now that I think about it, I still haven't seen much in the way of uh, side quest pop-ups beyond the ones we notice at first. Maybe once we go back here and like kind of unlock the amusement park area, or maybe once we beat the amusement park. I feel like that's when I first started noticing orange dots every which way. Let's uh, well, let's find out. To the resistance camp. And actually, before we even go inside, we haven't tried fishing with nines yet. Commencing. Do fishing. Cast. Still very funny to me. Ah, oh, too early. Gotta wait a little longer. There it is. Bring me fish. Detected. <laughs> Complete. I've got one of those before. At some point, I do suspect I need to do a bunch of off-camera fishing. All right. We did things. Ah, oh, it's you. I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. We don't have much to offer in thanks, but I've ready to room for you here. Oh. Oh yeah, we barely used that thing. It's the least we can do. Feel free to use it however you like. Hey, thanks. Maybe Nines will be more excited about the room. 
This is pretty big. You sure it's okay for us to get a room like this? We have permission, remember? Plus, we'll probably be stationed here for a while, so a bed won't go amiss. Then I guess there's no point turning it down. Not a lot of point to it either, though, it seems like. Like, what does crashing do? I guess exit the game, but you can kind of do that without using a bed. Hmm. What's our main objective now? None yet. I'm guessing if we... Okay, once we leave Resistance Camp, we'll probably get the notification about the amusement park, yeah? Let's see. Operator to 9S. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the Resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. Let's see about it, and that does, yeah, I think that's in the direction of the amusement park. So, okay, cool. No other side quests popping up. So far, so good. Hmm. Before we sign off today, I'm kind of curious. Is there anything else of note back here? I don't remember when exactly... Devola and Popola showed up. Still pretty curious why they showed up, actually. And if they have any significance. Let's take a break. Sounds great to me. Um... If there's something you want to listen to, feel free to change the song. I feel like I remember some folks in comments mentioning someone familiar here at the resistance camp, but... Oh, okay. That explains it, and also answers my other question. So, Devil and Popola have just been hanging out here for a large stretch of time, but you weren't allowed to go back there and talk to them yet. And then later they come out to an area where you can talk to them. Still don't know why they're alive or here, but cool. Neat game. All right, well, since things are going to kick off in all kinds of ways, I'm sure, once we get to the, uh, once we get to the amusement park, let's go ahead and call it a day, and we'll get on with that next week and see what's different. I look forward to it. Take care, y'all, and I will see you then for that. A goodbye.